Um, hi, my name is Kopano, but my friends call me my thousand. Why do they call me my thousand? Because I always have the money, my thousand. people welcome back to my channel i'm kapana shimange and this is how i do things the show where you send me your questions and i'll let you know how i would do things now you can take it as advice use it don't use it it is completely up to you there's no pressure none none whatsoever for you to take this as advice it's just i'm just telling you what i would do if i was in your situation now this question is so popular i have been receiving so many of these questions over and over and over again and since it is a hell of a tuesday we want to know honey how can we start saving like on the real 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 we are ordinary people here we are not that good at you saving, but we can spend, we can spend, we can spend, we can spend. I got those shoes, I got the hair, I got my nails, I got the clothes. Marry the savings is just dololo. Because how? Right? How do you actually do the savings thing? I'll be honest with you, I'm very good at spending. I'm good. But the saving, on the other hand, had to take a little bit of work. And that is the way for a lot of people. We're just like, how does the saving thing actually work? How do people actually stack and stack and stack and stack and not spend it? What do they do? How do they start? So in this video, I'm just going to give you three simple strategies that you can do to start saving your money actually to see money growing in a bank account to see money growing somewhere in your savings to just know that ah, I also have the thousands I've got the thousand you know what I mean so if you want to send me any of your questions head over to my Instagram and look for at and look for this picture in my insta story highlights click on the little pink box or reply and let me know which question or scenario you'd like me to tackle in our next video but until then let's get into today's situation it's a chalete Tuesday and we want to know honey how do we stack the chalete all right so before we even get started with the three strategies that you need to use you need to get your lay of the land in terms of what types of accounts you can get to start saving your money these aren't necessarily investments where you're like investing in shares or unit trusts or anything like that this is just savings money that you have put away that is earning low interest that is at very very low risk and it's just there just stacked up for you if you need it for an emergency if you need it just to save or if you want to just put money accumulate some money on the side for you to invest into something a little later this is just money that you can access easily but not too easily so i want you to make sure that you put your savings into an account that you need to notify someone of before you get a hold of it it can be anything from a three-day notice to a seven-day notice or a 30-day notice and the reason why you want to do this is because you want to put a barrier between you and that money for people who are bad at saving this will save your savings why because you'll be there these shoes oh I need these shoes. I need, I need to want these shoes. I need to want these shoes. Mm. And then next thing, your savings is gone. When people know that there's money that they can just easily access in that split second, then it becomes so easy for them to spend it. I know with myself as well, if I have money in a savings, I'm just like, it's money I can spend most. And it's not money you can spend. It's money that you want to put away, money that you want to see growing, money that you want to add into. So when you put that small barrier between you and that money, it means that you'll have to think about that thing that you want to spend it on for three days or seven days or 30 days. So putting that barrier between you and that piece of savings saves that savings. Be real with yourself. If you knew that you had that money that you could just in a split second, just use it quickly. You would use it, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. So have a barrier between you and that money. You can have a level of money that you can have and say, okay, just a few couple of thousands that I'll just have that is easily accessible just in case I need it immediately. But in terms of the money I'm trying to save and build up, let me build a little bit of a barrier between me and that money because I'm dangerous. Me, shoes, dangerous. It's dangerous. 
So option number one is a very, very simple one. It is the simplest of them all. If you are ill-disciplined with the savings thing, then get yourself a form that you can get on your online banking, fill it out, and this debit order form will be a debit order into your savings, okay? If you need to make a commitment to saving, then set up a debit order or set up some sort of small investment that will withdraw a fixed amount of money from your bank account. So for example, I love my Ellen Gray. So Ellen Gray basically takes about 500 Rand to invest into unit trusts and that is a great way for you to actually put your money away very, very easily. It's a very easy thing to sign up to. Like I said, you don't need a lot of money to invest in unit trusts. It's just a small, simple 500 Rand a month Thing that you do they set it up and if you want to put an extra you can it's very easy to set up and it's a commitment that you have to make so the first option is to commit to something that will take a debit order from you every single month if you want to set it up yourself having set up a savings where you have a seven day notice or a 30 day notice set up a fund where you can put that money away have your form online, fill it out and just say take 500 Rand from my bank account every month on the first of every month. And then you can just step away and be like, there you are, I've got the savings, I've got nothing to do with it. If I want to get a hold of it, I have to notify them to get it. That's a very easy way to do it. But if you still feel as though that money is not safe, then put it into something like an Ellen Gray. It's a very, very simple savings that you do and it's extremely easy to get into. And like I said, simple 500 Rand a month that accumulates very quickly and you get to earn just a little bit more interest than you would if you were to put it in a normal savings account. Strategy number two is the tit for tat pact. Now I've mentioned this one before. If you don't wanna spend a lot of money, you can use the tit for tat pact but it's also amazing for savings. Now, if you're the type of person who's just like, eh, eh, the debit order is not going to work for me. I don't want something that's just going to my money at the beginning of the month. No, 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 no. I can't do the debit order thing. Give me another option. This is your other option. The tit for tact pact is basically one that says that every time you spend money on a non-necessity, you're going to save an equal amount or a proportional amount into money that you can put away. So into that notifying account, right? That account that needs you to notify the bank at the three, seven or 30 days in advance to get it. All right, so this tit for tact pact, every single time you spend a thousand rand, then you need to save a thousand rand. Or you can tell yourself that every time I spend a thousand rand, I'm gonna put half away into savings. But you must promise that every time you spend, you're gonna save. Now the, the trick to this is to actually decide what are necessities and what are non-necessities. Now you can't punish yourself for buying groceries. You need to buy groceries and petrol. But every time you spend on a non-necessity, your hair, your nails, clothing, whatever those extra things are that are non-necessities, every time you go out for drinks, any of that stuff, if you go buy ice cream, any of those things, you either put an equal amount or a proportional amount away into savings. So if you're gonna go buy your man a gift, just for just, a thousand rand for a gift, you're gonna put a thousand rand away into savings or maybe 500 rand into savings. You can decide, it can either be equal or it can be 80% or 50%. You decide, but I'm telling you right now, every time I want to spend, I think to myself, oh, ish, wait, whoa. I want to spend this much, right? But I've also got to save. Oh, how much am I gonna, am I gonna save? I have that internal discussion with myself and then I'm like, okay, fine. I'll spend a thousand and I'll save a thousand. Do I have 2000 Rand to get out of my bank account right now? Yes, okay, cool, thousand there, a thousand there. It also means that you're gonna be spending less, but you are gonna be saving more. If you have this rule, it gives you more discipline to want to save. So that every time you spend, every time you buy a new pair of shoes, you're saving that amount of money as well. This thing works, I love it. My savings are in a much better place because of the tit for tact pact. It works, I love it. I love it. And option number three is to bank your change. Now, if you cannot do the debit order thing and you're looking at this tit for tat thing and it's like, ah, it's not going to work for me as well. Then this one is a very small, 
simple but extremely effective trick that you can do to racking up the stacks. This has levels to this thing, all right? So level one is to bank your small change. I introduce you to my piggy bank. It is that heavy. In here is my daily change, right? We don't spend coins. So you'll find there's a lot of five rand coins in here that we put away and this works for us. And every now and again, here it is, we head over to the bank and we bank this. The last time we did this, I think there was about 400 rand worth of coins in here. And this isn't actually a big thing and we do it kind of often. So banking your small change is a very level one thing. So never spending coins, putting your coins away and banking it every now and again, every quarter or every half a year or every year, you actually see that this actually adds up and for some people, it adds up to a couple of thousands every single year. So that's just level one of banking your change. And it works really well if you make a promise to yourself that empty out your pockets, never spend coins, always put them in here. So that is level one, right? This is the entry level of banking your change. The second is basically every single day, you need to zero out your account. What do I mean by zeroing out your account? You can decide that at the end of every day, there must be one zero at the end of my bank account. So whatever little monies you have, so if you have a thousand rand, a thousand and two rand, you need to make sure that there's a zero at the end. So you're going to put that two rand away into your savings and you're going to do that every single day. Now, if you're going to take this option, you want to have a savings pocket, something that is a separate account that is a savings account that is not a transactional account. So you take money from your transactional account into the savings pocket and there's no charges on that, right? So even if it's a really small amount of money, just swapping the money from your transactional account down to your savings pocket won't get charged, but you can bank that money away. Now imagine that every single time you go to sleep, you're putting in two rand, five rand, eight rand, anything underneath 10 rand, saving it every single day. That is level two of banking your change. Now level three of banking your change is to make sure that there's always two zeros at the end of your bank account every week. So every Sunday, you can go onto your bank account, onto your app and see how can I get down to my nearest hundred. So I've got 1,111 Rand. I'm gonna put 11 Rand away so that it's 1,100 Rand. So you want to make sure that there's two zeros at the end of your number. And you do this on a weekly basis. So you're banking anything that's under 100 Rand to just round off your bank account number. So every week you'll be putting away 80 Rand, 50 Rand, 26 Rand, somewhere around there. And that actually adds up quite a bit. So if you're saving around 50 Rand every single week, by the end of the month, you are saving about 250 Rand a month. And it could be more. So it's just about at the end of every week, zero out your account to the nearest 100 Rand. And every time you do that, you just flip it from your transactional account to your savings pocket. Remember, there's no charges for that, but it accumulates really quickly. So that's level one, is just to bank your change, the small little coins that you have. Level two is to zero out your account to the nearest 10 Rand. Level three is to zero out your account to your nearest 100 Rand. Or you could zero out your account to the nearest thousand every single month. So if you get to the end of the month and you have 1,600 Rand, you want to round off to the lowest thousand. So if there's 600 Rand, you're gonna bank the 600 Rand, right? So you want to try and get it to the nearest thousand Rand. So you want to have three zeros in your account. So this is a monthly thing. So if you have 1,250 Rand in your account at the end of the month, you're gonna bank the 250 Rand. If you have 1,850 Rand at the end of the month, you're gonna bank the 850. Whatever brings you down to the nearest zero, you're going to take that difference and bank it into your savings pocket. The reason why you want to use a savings pocket is because those transactional fees won't be there with those small amounts. You don't want those transactional fees to just be sucking out your money. You know transactional fees? It's a video, another video, another video, it's fine. Those transactional fees will chow away at your money if you're putting in a little two rand or a little five rand every day, every week or every month. 
So you want to have a savings pocket that you put that away into. Now, if you are going to have a savings pocket, make sure that you make a commitment that every month or every two months, you're gonna take whatever's in your savings pocket and put that away into something that is a, notif a, not a notifying account, something that has a barrier. Remember what I told you about that notice account? You wanna put that money that is in your savings pocket, you wanna put it away. Because whatever's in your savings pocket, you can use that money anytime you want to. You can take it from savings into your transactional account and then we are back to square one. No more savings. But I like the zeroing out thing because it means that at the end of every day, if you want to, or every week, if you want, or every month, you can decide, am I gonna go down to the nearest hundred? Am I gonna go down to the nearest thousand? It is all up to you. But those small changes add up very, very quickly. If you're the type of person who spends every day, go down to the nearest 10 Rand. If you're the type of person who spends every week, at the end of the week on Sundays, you can then say, okay, fine, let me near my, let me get my money rounding it off to the nearest 100, or you can near it off to the nearest 1,000. Whatever your money situation is, boo, I know some of you, you're shmoney, you're just like, let me near it off, let me zero off to the nearest thousand, cause your girl got that money. It is all up to you. But these three options are for us real people who are just like, it. when it comes to savings, I'm not that disciplined. So I need to find some sort of trick that's gonna help me to save. These three options are for us real girls who are just like, how do I do this and make sure I can afford the savings thing? It's an easy way to start saving and it makes it kind of fun. And I promise you, saving is one of those things that you start to see how much money is accumulating. You start to have that confidence and you get addicted to it. And if there's anything you're gonna be addicted to, it better be making that money, honey. All right, so that's all for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. For all us real girls who just wanna bank that money, who wanna make that money, who wanna save that money, I hope that these tips come in handy for you. Let me know in the comment box down below if you guys are going to be using option one, two, or three. Or if you have been racking up those stacks, let us know what have you been doing can we grow with you? Let's share the knowledge on getting that shmoney. That's it for Chaleta Tuesday for today. I'm Kapana Shimange and this is How I Do Things. I don't know about you, but I want to be the type of person who's good with her money. I want to know that there's a goal that I'm working towards with my money and I am getting there one step at a time. If you feel the same way and you want to learn how can you start to be more organized with your money, how can you start saving your money and how can you start working towards a point where you're making more money, then head over to my website kopanoshimange.com and sign up to get the money resource sheets. These are resource sheets that's going to help you to earn, preserve and to protect the money that you have and build a better future for you and your wealth. It is completely free. All you have to do is sign up.